I'm Christy Brinkley, and you're watching New You. When my career started, I, I could never have believed that I'd still be doing this, approaching my big 7-0. <laughs> Sorry, could you repeat that? I just like hearing it. <laughs> Who can live up to that billing? <laughs> no way. But I do like to hear it. Thank you. <laughs> I am writing a book right now, an autobiography, and it's one of my things that I realize that I'm constantly doing new things, discovering new things, learning more. I think that that's like probably one of my best beauty secrets is curiosity for the world, new boulevards, new adventures, new uh, challenges. I tell you, I became a vegetarian when I was 14 years old because I didn't want to be a part of the violent slaughterhouse system. I love animals. And I find that I have been literally reaping the good karma from that. I found out that I have avoided all the antibiotics and growth hormones that they pump into those animals to get them to the marketplace faster. It's really important for people to think about at least not eating meat a few days a week, if that's all you can do, because it's so, so much better for, for you, but also for our planet. I think being a vegetarian, for one thing, has given me a lot of energy because I wasn't going to be eating the animal protein. I knew instinctively that I needed to find other ways to have good nutrition. And so I have a real awareness of how food is fuel and you can really fuel your day with the good things that you eat. I find that my enthusiasm for life, for adventure, for everything, stems from my true gratitude for each and every day that I'm lucky enough to have. And I also think that my enthusiasm for the products that I endorse comes from the fact that I always ask myself, like, if the product, will it make somebody's day better, um, happier, make them feel confident or whatever? And if, if I feel that, then I definitely feel like I'm onto something. I'm, I'm originally from the West Coast. I grew up in Malibu. When I came out to the East Coast and went to the Hamptons on a modeling assignment, I just could not believe the natural beauty of Long Island. The shoreline is so jagged and it's very usable water. Like you can shove off from a shore on a little boat and then pull up in a restaurant in another village. That's so magical to me. And then there's those windswept beaches with giant sand dunes and gorgeous beaches. It's like spectacularly beautiful with farmland and giant old trees. It's just so beautiful. I feel so lucky to live here. The thing about my life that I think is so fun is that every day is different. Uh, your assignments, you're always with a new group of people, a new team. I love to start my mornings with my cup of coffee and I use my rise, which um, it's six different adaptogenic mushrooms and I add that to my coffee. And it really is, does give me a lot of good energy as well. And then I like to like watch the morning news at that point and catch up on the, all the world's events. And then I'm ready to start my day. I love to find time every day to spend a little time in nature. Going to the grocery store, I might also stop at the beach and 
catch the sunset before I head home, take a walk in the woods, uh, spend time with my chickens. I raise chickens and I make my own honey and I have bees. And I love touching nature like that. You know, being out in nature is just, it recharges my batteries. I've been trying to work mushrooms into my act for a long time because, you know, as a vegetarian and being aware of health and nutrition, you read so much about from ancient Chinese medicines that incorporated a lot of the mushrooms. The fact it's so easy to throw it into my coffee, like I literally just throw it into my coffee, but I'm getting like a real focus without the jitters. For me, I've had a lot of injuries. I was in a helicopter crash and I, you know, injured a lot of my body. And injuries can give you a kind of stiffness. Since I've been having the mushrooms in my coffee, my shoulders are moving again, my hips are swiveling again. And that's important to me, especially, you know, coming to work like this. I can't have the, you know, stiff shoulders. <laughs> One was when I was with Sports Illustrated. They wanted me to go up on this spinnaker sale, and I'm just in this little, little teeny scrap of a, you know, that they call, were calling a bathing suit. And I'm holding on to a rope, and then the giant spinnaker sail goes out and lifts me up high into the air, like maybe 40 feet above the bow of the boat. But they needed a dumping line, which is a line that they can pull on one side to dump some of the wind out to bring me back down, but they forgot to tie it on. So I'm up there in the air going, okay, ready to come down. They said, well, you're gonna have to jump. Just make sure you don't land on the boat. So that's what I did. I really prioritize um, friends and family. I think it's really, really important to make time to relax and laugh and catch up with each other. And that's what gives me the greatest joy. And it's really important to prioritize joy. I am all about celebrating everything that you can celebrate, really. Hey, it's Monday, let's celebrate. And that's what opening up a bottle of Prosecco or a bottle of wine, but especially my sparklings, because it makes that noise, which is just so celebratory, you know? As soon as you hear that popping, it just, the spirits lift as the corks fly, you know? So, and I was really, really thrilled that my wines and Proseccos are all made with 100% organic grapes. And grapes are one of the, you know, dirtier fruits. So it's like a no brainer that you want your wine to be organic. We're also vegan, cruelty free, non GMO. And to top it off, our runaway hit was when we put out a zero sugar Prosecco. People fell in love with it. So this year we just expanded our line and we have just put out five delicious still wines that are all zero sugar. So they're all organic, vegan, non-GMO, and zero sugar, practically health food. I get these like coconut milk ice creams. I think, oh, it's just coconut milk. But you know what? I just had to wean myself off of them. I would swing by Carvel and they have these things called flying saucers, which is sort of like an ice cream sandwich. But now I've weaned myself off and I'm feeling much better. <laughs> I always say smile. A smile is the best thing you can put on your face because a smile can literally have the power to elevate the mood and light up a room. I've said to my kids ever since they were little, you know, guys, just put your lips in a smiling position and it instantly makes you feel better. And now science has proven me correct. 
If you put your lips in that position, they have proven that it releases the feel-good hormones in your body. It's good for you to smile. There's nothing left to say except 